Hi, fall is here and the lasers have been turned on at Modern Dermatology. Right now I'm actually squeezed into one of my lasers rooms and I have one laser on this side of me and I have one laser on this side of me and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time talking about my lasers and sort of what we do here. So lasering after summer is something that we sort of do all of September, October, November, December to get people sort of excited and ready for the holidays. Um, people oftentimes book their laser treatments out a year in advance because they're so popular and um, we offer a wide variety of treatments. I want to break down the concept of lasering and what it can do for you. Um, there are lasers that help with texture and there are lasers that help with red. Usually the texture lasers and the red lasers can also help with brown, but really depending on what's bothering you, is it wrinkles, is it texture, is it pore size, that's one group of lasers. Is it red? Is it those broken blood vessels around your nose? That's a different laser. And then brown spots, melasma, those really also are tailored depending on which one you have. One of the most popular lasers in this office is Solta's Clear and Brilliant. Another similar option is something called Laze MD. These are gentle lasers that aerate the skin, meaning they poke holes in about 5% of the skin and that promotes cell turnover in a good way, getting that brown off and also sort of improving the texture of the skin temporarily. This is really the only laser I recommend to people who have something called melasma, which is sort of pigment on the skin, um, usually associated with sun damage as well as hormones, estrogen in particular. Um, it's really common in women in their 30s. Um, so Clear and Brilliant does a wonderful job of cleaning off that just the like, congestion you get from the summer, also sort of those brown spots you don't like, the activation of the melasma, um, if you read about it online, it's oftentimes recommended in a series. Most of my patients really only need to do one or two to get a really nice result. I do two clearing brilliants on myself a year. I do one sort of in October and another one in March. It's also a great treatment if you have a big event, if you're getting married or if your daughter's getting married. Um, if you do a clear and brilliant about two weeks before, your skin's just gonna look really glowy and beautiful and you're not gonna need very much makeup. The next sort of most popular treatment in our office is something called IPL, which stands for Intense Pulse Light. And that's actually this baby over here. We have the Sinusure Icon or the Palomar Icon. We actually have two of them because we love them so much. And um, this is a device that's running all the time and it helps with red and it helps with brown. So it treats those rosacea broken blood vessels and like the big blood vessels you get in your chin. It also does a really nice job on age spots. I do not like IPL for people who have melasma because the energy from the laser can actually activate the melasma and make it worse. So if you have melasma, you don't want to do IPL. Um, IPL is oftentimes delegated, but in this office, um, we only the physicians do the treatments. And what we tell patients is that on your face, you will see a 50, so five zero, a 50% improvement in your red and brown in one treatment. You don't have to do a series for your face. For your neck, your chest, other body areas, I do shoulders, I do backs, it's pretty much I do people's entire bodies with IPL. Off, off the face, you're going to need multiple treatments because you just can't use as high of settings to get those results. Um, but IPL, like a once a year IPL just does a wonderful job of reversing the damage that's grown over the year. We can't change your genetic predisposition to make broken blood vessels or to make brown spots. And depending on how much time you spend in the sun, they're gonna come back and they may even come back quickly. What IPL does is it sort of cleans the slate and gives you a new place to start. And then you make more red and brown and then we clean it up again the next year, which is why people truly book their IPLs with me when they leave in October for the following October, just so they have everything all set up. Um, after IPL, then we go to sort of a little bit more aggressive resurfacing lasers and um, the sort of the big brother or the mama bear to the clear and brilliant or the Laze MD is something called Fraxel. There's a similar device that's actually part of the Icon platform where it is a fractionated resurfacing laser that's non-ablative. So this is um, a great treatment with a little bit more town time that will help with brown spots, but also with pore size and texture. And then in addition to that one, then there's the even bigger one. So there's the clear and brilliant, then there's the um, fractionated resurfacing that's non-ablative. And then there's my favorite laser, which is the um, fractionated resurfacing that's 
ablative, and that's this little guy over here. Oh, and this is my um, CO2 laser. And really what I'm known for in the Seattle area is my CO2 resurfacing. And this is what you do to really build up collagen on your face, neck, and chest. So it not only helps with wrinkles and brown spots, it also really builds collagen. It helps with pore size, helps with the crepiness around your eyes. I can do full faces, I can do necks, I can do chest. It helps tighten up your neck as well as improving the texture of the skin on your neck. It helps around your eyes. The thing about the CO2 is you gotta be ready for it. It is not for those who are faint of heart. So if I laser you, you're gonna look terrible, like swollen, alien, disgusting for four to five days. And then I'll see you at a follow-up at day seven. And with makeup on, you'll look pretty good, but you'll still be red for about three or four more weeks. So it is um, not something that you need to do often, but if you really want to polish things up and move your skin back five, 10 years, there's nothing better than a CO2 laser. After all of these laser treatments, the only products we recommend for patients and the only products we put on them at our office are my products, the Dr. Rogers um, skincare line. And it's actually one of the reasons why I made them is after CO2 lasering people, I really needed products that were going to be safe for people to use when they had literally thousands of holes in their face. All of our post-care instructions are actually available on the Dr. Rogers website. So if you go to drrogers.com, doctor spelled out, and go into skin procedures, you're going to be able to see all the different lasering procedures and what I tell people to do for their post-care. Um, let me know if you have any questions about how to clean up your summer sun damage, and um, I look forward to talking with you more later. Okay, keep the questions coming. It's really fun to answer them.